Hey and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a website without any prior skills in web design or coding. This easy step-by-step -step tutorial will help you learn the basics of the Wix website builder. For you who do not know what Wix is, Wix is basically an easy-to-use website builder that can be used to create personal websites, online stores, and portfolios. So if you're wondering how to create a website that'll impress every visitor, it's totally doable as a drag-and-drop website editor. Wix is super easy to learn and use. Ready? Let's get started. The first step is to click Get Started and then on Sign Up. Input your contact info and click on the main Sign Up. After that, you'll be taken straight to the Wix ADI Artificial Intelligence Designer. Click on Let's do it to begin. In these steps, Wix will ask you a couple of questions and then set your site up with specific optimizations in place based on your answers. I choose myself in this case and then for business since it's the most common type of website that people build. The second step is to pick the type of website you want to build. Wix will ask you if you want the ADI to build an example website for you or if you want to create your own website in the Wix editor. Going with the ADI to me is a much more efficient approach, especially since you can come back later on and customize every little detail of your site. Click on Start now. Wix will have some follow-up questions. The first question is about the type of business that you want to build the website for. After typing your business definition, Wix will have a range of suggestions lined up. Based on everything you've selected up until this point, Wix will suggest a set of features for your site. In our case, Wix suggests a module for online bookings and a handful of other things. What you will see on this screen can vary based on your answers. Go through this list and pick the features that seem like they make sense for your site. In the next step, type your business name, which will become the name of your website. Next, Wix will ask you if you already have some content on the web that you would like to import to your new Wix website. But in practice, Importing content from other websites can be annoying, so it's best to leave this out. Just click on Next. On this page you can review and edit your info. The third step is to choose a template. Pick a theme you like, I will go for the Breeze style. After that Wix puts together homepage alternatives to pick from. Pick your favorite one and then continue. You will see a variety of pages that are related to your website. Select the one you want and click edit site. Step 4. Customizing the website. After picking the homepage you like, you'll be thrown right into the Wix ADI editor where you can customize every little detail about how the website appears and what elements it features. If you want to edit any of the text on the page, just click on a given piece of text. A new sidebar will appear where you'll be able to do your modifications. Clicking on any of the other blocks on the homepage will have the same effect letting you into an editing interface where you can change the contents of the given block. The Wix ADI editor lets you drag and drop individual elements around the page and also change the order of the sections. 
If you look at any of the sections, you will see two arrow icons in the top right corner of the section. These arrows let you move a given section up and down. Just click on them and you'll see your section shifting places in a matter of seconds. Wix ADI Editor works with auto-save, so you don't have to worry about losing your progress. Switching the design styles of the sections. Clicking on the design button will allow us to change the overall designs of the sections themselves. Just pick the one you like best, and with one click, it's going to be put in place of the old one. Setting fonts and colors. You can easily change the color scheme and font settings by clicking on design button in the top menu and then on colors. The same thing goes for your fonts. Start with the same design button in the top menu and select fonts. Wix will have a range of suggestions for you. It's best to just switch between the options back and forth until you find something you enjoy. Adding images, slideshows, and other visual features. Let us jump to visual content. Wix makes it easy to add images, videos, slideshows, galleries, even Instagram feeds. Let's start changing the existing image. Just click on a section containing an image that you want to replace, and then from the sidebar, click on Replace. You will be given a range of recommended images following the same theme. These are images that you can use on your site freely without having to worry about any copyright issues. You can upload your own image. Click on the plus upload media button that's in the top left corner. To add other types of media, click on the main Add button that's in the top menu. And then, from the list of available sections, go into the category that you want. The procedure is very similar to adding or replacing images. Just click into the block the same way, then click on Replace and organize your media accordingly. The next step is to customize the website for mobile devices. Click on the View Switcher button on the top bar. This will reload the page and show you how it's going to appear on mobile devices. In most cases, your website is going to look just fine out the gate, but you can make some minor adjustments to highlight the more important elements and hide the not so important ones. Any changes you make here won't affect the way your site looks on the desktop. This is for mobile only. When you're done, just switch to desktop view again. Your changes will be saved automatically. Step 6. Creating other pages. Now we can add some other pages. To get started, click on the page. Wix will suggest some popular types of pages you might be interested in creating. To get your About page done, 
Just scroll through the list of available page designs and pick the one you like the best. From there you can edit the About page exactly the same as with the Home page. Simply proceed to add whatever content sections you think should be on your About page and edit them accordingly. By default, each new page you create is going to be added to the main menu of your site automatically. If you want to change the order in which the pages appear in the menu, click on your site's header. And then on the Edit button next to the menu, you'll be able to drag and drop pages to reorder them. Step 7 is adding a blog, but this is optional. Click on the Page button and then on Plus Add Page. From the list, select Blog and then pick a blog layout that you like. You can edit this page just like any other page that you have on the site. You can also manage the blog and write new posts. To write a new blog post, click on the main blog section and then on Manage Blog. From there, you can manage existing posts as well as create new ones. In step 8 we get to know the main Wix dashboard. To access the dashboard, simply click on Site, then Dashboard. Let's explain what's on this page section by section. Section A. The primary sidebar where you can quickly access the individual areas of your website. If you have a blog or an online store, you'll see sections to manage your products, orders, blog posts, or bookings there. There are also links to other tools and apps. At the bottom, there's a link to edit your site, which will land you in the same Wix ADI editor that we used before. Section B. The main control panel of your website. This is where you can choose from a selection of actions to perform on your site. Section C. The scrolling to-do list that you can work your way through in order to create the most effective site possible. When it comes to add-ons and ideas, Wix has thought of everything for you, so you can take your time picking and choosing which options you'd like to implement. The one area where you might want to have a deeper look is the settings menu which is accessible from the main sidebar. This is where you can find all the key settings of your site, such as the name, general info, integrations with other tools, payment options, currency, and a lot more. Step 9 is adding functionality via Wix apps. You can take a look into the Wix app market. You'll find more than 200 different apps there to help you build and grow your website. To access the apps, click on Apps in the main sidebar of the Wix dashboard. There are apps for all sorts of different things there. From marketing helpers to SEO, live chat newsletters, social media integrations, pop-ups, contact managers, and a lot more. Apps can be added with a couple of clicks. Just pick an app you like from the list and click on Add App. The final step is to pick a pricing plan and launch your site. At this stage in the process, your website is nearly ready. You can now make it public. There are just a couple more things you need. To publish your site, click on the main Publish button. You will have to choose whether you want to use the free Wix subdomain or connect a custom domain name. 
Now, before you make this choice, let's talk about the pricing of different Wix plans. First off, there is an entirely free plan with Wix available. As part of it, you are allowed to use only the free Wix subdomain that can't connect a custom domain name. Wix ads will appear on every page on your website. You get up to 500 megabytes of storage and 500 megabytes of bandwidth, which is not a lot. If you're okay with these limitations, you can go ahead and choose that free subdomain. At this stage, your site is going to be online and ready to welcome visitors. But do not forget to confirm your email first. If, on the other hand, these limitations are too much, you'll have to upgrade to one of the premium plans. Just click on one of the upgrade buttons visible in the dashboard. Select a pricing plan that suits you best. As you can see, there's a lot here, but you don't need to spend too much time making a decision. Consider these points for choosing the perfect Wix plan for your site. Want to sell something on the site? Pick the business basic plan. You get all the e-commerce features you will ever need. Just want an optimized personal, business information or blog website? Pick the unlimited plan. Keep in mind that you can always upgrade to a more expensive plan if you run into any significant limitations. Once you upgrade to one of these premium plans and complete the purchase process, your site will be officially online and ready for business. Congratulations! You've just learned how to build a functional website on Wix. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.